Hello, this is Isabel, and I'm here with the Between Classes podcast. Today we have Jameson Lamp joining us, who is going to tell us a little bit about Family Weekend that's coming up here at SDSU. So Jameson, if you want to just give everyone a rundown of what your position is here and what you do at SDSU. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Um, it's always fun to talk about the great things going on at SDSU. Uh, so my role on campus is I'm the university event coordinator uh, for the Office of the President. And so um, on top of Family Weekend, I also do a lot of other things on campus like convocation and graduation, uh, the celebration of faculty excellence, uh, and a, a lot of other kind of one-off events as they come up. A busy guy, always planning something. Always planning something is right. So a part of your role, like you said, does include Family Weekend. So what is Family Weekend here at SDSU? So uh, this is the second year of kind of the official Family Weekend um, at SDSU. And so uh, we really see it as a way for students uh, to be able to invite their parents or grandpas, grandmas, aunts, uncles, whatever family looks like to you uh, back to campus, um, hopefully in a time where we're not flooding you with information about orientation or registering for classes or all that kind of thing, and really just be able to kind of enjoy that great energy and atmosphere uh, that campus has to offer in the fall. So Family Weekend really stemmed out of what used to be a separate Dad's Weekend and Mom's Weekend. Um, and so both of those events had been going on for five years. Uh, the feedback was really telling us that um, parents and families and students really wanted everyone, you know, to kind of come back together. So we listened to that. Um, and last year was kind of the, the first formal year of Family Weekend. So we're kind of bringing everyone in now to get involved with Family Weekend. I know I did Mom's Weekend and my dad was like, well, why can't I come? So now we can get them all here together. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like we excluded anyone right, from right. the other weekends, but... Right. Um, yeah, now you can bring siblings, family friends. Yeah. Everyone's involved. Yep. So when is Family Weekend happening this year? So Family Weekend will be September 20th and 21st, and then um, th a little bit into the 22nd uh, this year. So we'll have Friday night programming, uh, Saturday activities with the football game, and then uh, Macquarie Gardens is offering uh, kind of a free admission um, event for Family Weekend attendees. Do people have to come to every day? Could they choose a day? Do they need to be here all weekend? Yeah, we try to leave it as flexible as we can for the families, knowing that some are traveling or uh, coming various different distances uh, to be here for the weekend. And so we really just hope that either the student um, or someone from the family can check in with us on Saturday night during registration or Saturday morning. Uh, that's where they pick up their football tickets to the game, uh, kind of get your family weekend button and all those other things that, that come with the weekend. So um, if we can't make one of those for some reason, we always try to work with the family to, to make it a great experience. So do family members have to register you kind of just taught that talked about this but where does registration happen and is it online? Can they call in? How does that work? Uh, we really push everyone to our online registration. So if you go to sdstate.edu slash family weekend, uh, there's information about the schedule there, uh, registration button um, to, to go to the online registration format. So it is $60 uh, per adult. Uh, so anyone in the family that is over college age or not in college um, is that $60 price. And then anyone college age or younger um, is free to attend. Uh, with a paying adult. Here Students are free, yeah. uh, younger siblings are free. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we really, it's, it's really exciting on that day to see kind of the different generations of uh, walking across campus and partaking in those activities. So it's really designed to kind of help encourage those younger students to attend. There we go. We got the whole family here. Right. Start those jackrabbits young. <laughs> Is there a deadline for them to register? You know, we really encourage people to kind of register as soon as they can, as um, soon as they know they're coming. Hotel rooms can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge on home football games. Um, so the earlier you can make those accommodations, the better. But right. we will take registrations right up to the to the event time. I'm a planner, so I like to plan ahead. <laughs> I appreciate planners <laughs> in my job. And then what does that registration cost all include? What are they getting out of that? So you're getting your football tickets to the game. Uh, we're doing a really kind of fun uh, traditions breakfast uh, this, this year. And so there'll be a meal, a breakfast included in that ticket price, and then uh, the entertainment on Friday night as well. Fun. Where would someone pick up their football ticket or know how they can get into these events? How would they know that 
that person is a part of family weekend. So we've kind of started a tradition both with mom and dad's weekend and kind of carried over into family weekend uh, because SDSU has a culture of buttons. Um, uh, so we do a family weekend button every year that's dated and that's kind of the, the signal to those other entities across campus and across the community uh, that are involved in family weekend. So we encourage everyone to come pick up those buttons. With their, they get those with their tickets and all that at, at check-in and registration. Yeah, kind of a fun keepsake too yeah. to look back and say, oh, remember family weekend? Yep. And then where does that registration happen when they go to pick up their button and their tickets? Where is that location at? Sure. So Friday night is over at Club 71 in the stadium. Um, it's always kind of fun to get in there the night before and see the stadium yeah, and then um, see the energy the next day and kind of how that transforms. So Friday night, uh, 6.30 to 7.30 at Club 71 is kind of that pickup um, and check-in time. And then Saturday morning from 8.30 to 10 will be at the Alumni Center where that kind of traditions breakfast will be happening uh, kind of centered around that historic part of campus. So they don't have to go to both. It's whatever one they're available. Yeah. Yep. So then we kind of talked about some of the events that are going on that weekend. Um, you touched on the traditions breakfast and then I saw that there's a Cards Against Hypnosis. Do you know much about that event or what's going to happen during that? So the Friday night entertainment this year, we always worked with the university program council on campus uh, to kind of help arrange that and um, kind of select an entertainer. So uh, they had proposed this Cards Against uh, Hypnosis, uh, hypnotist, I guess you'd say. And uh, so it'll, it will be a family friendly, clean show. Um, for those that maybe sometimes partake in a different version of Cards Against Humanity. It's kind of based off of the card game, and so there's a lot of audience interaction and kind of choosing the black card, choosing the white card, and then that kind of helps uh, dictate what plays out on stage. Uh, for those that are under hypnosis. So it sounds like an evening full of laughter. It should be. Kind of a thing. Yeah, <laughs> lots of laughter, uh, lots of audience involvement. And, and of course, like, you know, you're, you'll are you never be hypnotized unless you want to be and, you know, kind of choose to, to do that. So. And then some of those other events that I saw going on are stuff at the golf course, the wellness center, and the outdoor adventure center. So we really like to engage uh, partners from across the community too. Um, hopefully this is a way that if a, a student is really interested in something but maybe haven't found it yet in the community, you know, in the first month or so here that mom or dad or whoever is with you, you know, it makes it a little less daunting to go um, experience those other opportunities. So uh, we do partner, like you say, with the golf course and the Outdoor Adventure Center, um, work with the downtown businesses to do kind of a shopping experience uh, for attendees. Like I said, usually we find that there's too much um, for families to do at one time. Um, it's kind of intentional uh, so that there's enough there for people to really pick and choose right, what fits their options. needs. My mom and I actually did the um, we went to the Adventure Center and did the bow and arrow shooting. Oh, yeah. Something I've never done before, but I would definitely do it again. Good. That good. was a lot of fun. So I would recommend that one. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we always hope it kind of pushes people outside their boundaries a little bit, but uh, really shows the, the wide array of things that we have to do here in Brookings. Absolutely. Where do you recommend guests stay while they're in town for the weekend? Uh, well, as I mentioned, um, we know that sometimes hotels can be a little bit challenging, especially as we look at those home football games. And it's not just this weekend. It's all seven of them um, with that. So we do have room blocks um, at some of the hotels. Those are, the, are listed on the, the family weekend website so check those out um, and, and hopefully the hotels in town can accommodate you. We always have some interest too in campsites or different things depending on the time of year so uh, you know we have Oakwood Lakes and some of those others within a, a nice driving distance. And then kind of going off of that with it being a football weekend where would you recommend they park while they're here? Friday night uh, when during for the hip the hypnotist the stadium parking is open and available well you can't leave your car on campus overnight of course and then we'll have uh, plenty of parking over at the alumni center on saturday so um, from there on we just ask that they follow game day parking you know policies and that kind of thing who should attendees contact then if they have any other additional questions we've covered a lot of it here but if they still have something yeah. that comes up can they talk to you yeah they're welcome to call me uh so my office number is 688-4111 um, um, or my contact information is also listed on sdstate.edu. Great. 
Uh, do you have any other advice or maybe some encouragement for family weekend? You know, it's always it's fun to watch family weekend kind of unfold. And sometimes the student is a little hesitant. But in the end, we always hear like, oh, this was really fun. I'm glad, you know, mom or dad or grandpa and grandma or, you know, Uncle Jim or whoever it is, you know, got to come back and kind of spend that time on campus. And so oh, I've been planning mom and dad's weekend and now family weekend for almost five years. And so it it's fun to see some of those repeat, uh, you know, people that come. And um, the part for me that's really exciting is I really like seeing that kind of like multi-generational piece, especially when you get a, like a, a grandpa or a grandma kind of explaining to their current student like, oh, this is this is what this used to be or, you know, the good old day kind of thing. So it's a really exciting time. Um, so I think, you know, don't be afraid to invite mom and dad back to campus. It's a it's a much different experience than move in, than orientation, than any of those things that that they've been a part of. Absolutely. Of now. Yeah, it's kind of it's become a tradition here. And yeah. I think we'll see that happen with families, too, that it becomes a tradition for them to partake yeah. in. Bring your little siblings too. They always love a little ice cream and <laughs> running around the campus green. So it's an event for everyone. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now that um, we've got all the ins um, on family weekend, I just want to ask you two questions that we ask each of our guests. So the first one is what's your favorite thing about SDSU? So that's a hard one for me. Um, I'm a graduate from here, and and I think it always sounds really cliche, but I but I say it with a lot of genuineness to it too. But it's it's the people you know at SDSU that really make every day exciting to come to work and uh, walk across campus and and see all the different energy, and you know especially as we kind of ramp up for this time of year, there really is no other time like fall on a college campus. Um, you know just the energy, and I get to look out. My window every day to the campanile and the campus green and see the students in hammocks or bikes or you know skateboarding or whatever that is so it, it, it the energy this time of year and then the people are what are really really great about i SDSU. would completely agree when i came on my tour it was just that energy the atmosphere that made me that sold me yeah like, yep this is yeah. home <laughs> it's really cool and then that last one what's your favorite thing about brookings or the community I've lived in Brookings all my life. Um, I was bound and determined to get out of here. I ended up back at SDSU, and it's been it's been really great. I am really happy I've never left now. But Brookings is such a unique place, and I think what we probably don't appreciate enough is what campus provides uh, to the community of Brookings. And so I really appreciate all of the opportunities and the experiences um, that SDSU being here offers to those citizens and um, community members of Brookings. So Definitely. when you think of sporting events and all of that, the world-class entertainers that come through the pack, we don't have to travel. We don't have to to leave and, and go see those things. They come they come right to us. A lot of people don't have that in their um, cities or towns, so yeah. we're definitely lucky. And yeah. I think the community feels that too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming and talking to us today and giving us um, all the ins and out of Family Weekend. I'm excited to see how it turns out yeah. and to see everyone show up and enjoy the weekend. Yeah, we've had really great response to registration so far, but there's still plenty of room for more.